you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole, and we are bringing back Dream Theater down the rabbit hole with the song In the Name of God. And this is live at Bodocom. I'm really excited for this one. I haven't heard Dream Theater before, so I am stoked. Chronicans, I am so excited to have Dream Theater coming down the rabbit hole. We are really looking forward to this because we actually have tickets to go see Dream Theater in June, July? July 18th. July 18th here in Calgary. So I am stoked. I haven't seen Dream Theater play live. I know Dream Theater is one of Kyle's favorite bands. That's why we got tickets. But this is all new for me. Yep. So if you guys love Dream Theater and you are as stoked for us as we are for us, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what your favorite Dream Theater song is down in the comments below. This is In the Name of God. I am so excited. And I, this is one of my favorite songs to answer your question that you're asking everyone else from my favorite album train of thought mm -hmm. so here we go this is how you end a concert yo <laughs> all right honey loving this like middle eastern vibe yeah. that it has from the keyboard and the guitar going on no kidding and yeah. this bassist has a six string bass which is yeah amazing He's... and i was watching him play and i was like that is so many strings there is so much going on with that bassist he's a master class for basses he is just so calm yeah it's like his presence is just like that's what you need for a yeah. bassist too right because the bassist is someone who's also keeping the tempo, just yeah. like the percussion. Mm -hmm. And so he's just so calm and just very, very stoic. And I also think they actually want to be a little mi Middle Eastern sound, mm -hmm. like you're saying, because in the name of God, it's like some of those wars that were made in the Middle East and yeah. brought in the name of God. And I think that's probably why. And I never thought of it until you said that. Well, you just said he came in with the scepter and the yeah. gun. Yeah. So that's very much that Middle Eastern, all the exactly. battles that were fought in around that time in the name of God. Mm -hmm. It's like, mm -hmm. here's my scepter. Here's my gun. No kidding. Eh? So, oh my God. I'm loving you liking this. this. This is phenomenal. Yeah.
so good. And like you're right, this is about the wars in the Middle East that have happened all throughout history yeah. and killing in the name of God. That's literally the lyric that he just had when the mm-hmm. prophet comes down and speaks to you. Yeah, yeah. And then see? killing in the name of God is that follow up. And I'm loving their transitions that are happening. Oh, so like they had that like Middle Eastern vibe with the guitar, and then they have the like the drum breakdown, which goes into those such pills that, that he fills. can switch and transition to anything, right? They are phenomenal. Yeah. This is this is such an amazing piece. I'm loving this band. Um, they mm-hmm. aren't quite as progressive as I thought they were going to be. Oh, they definitely can be. Okay. That's oh, good they to def- know. And this I'll song is challenge not- accepted. <laughs> no problem. Thanks, honey. <laughs> Metropolis is coming part two. Anyways. Um, but this song coming into it, um, it, it wasn't as progressive as I thought. It mm. is a bit slower than what I was expecting right. from what I have heard of dream theater mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and them as being a band and is that a nice thing then? i'm actually really enjoying it nice. i do really like it um and, and i'm loving the singer's voice it wasn't what i was expecting either he nice. has a very um digestible voice he's got an amazing voice. i love it it's gorgeous very mm-hmm. very rocky almost yeah very like, rocky. like old school rock kind yeah. of music is yeah. kind of how i would explain his yeah, voice and, I, and, and I, i'm loving james lebris name James Labrie, yeah. he's phenomenal. I'm loving, um, I love that I can pick up his lyrics. Yeah, That's the... something that I love about his voice is it's very clear. Yeah. It's very concise. Mm-hmm. And I can hear what he's saying, what he's singing about, which um, just adds that, that next level to the music for me. Yeah, and he's a great storyteller and mm-hmm. it helps us when we can keep up with the lyrics because now we're learning to digest the music with the lyrics now. Not just the music. Yeah, and that's really important with uh, having this creative a singer. So I- I'm also happy that you're liking this because I knew it wasn't as progressive as some of them. So I was wondering <laughs> if it was too slow or anything at first for you, but it's not. So Loving the story. Exactly. They're going to build it up and we're going in. <laughs> It's a full experience, isn't it? It is. And this is in Japan. I really like this part. just before before it gets into the like, <laughs> part is coming i can tell so i just need to pause it just yes, before smart. something happens 
Um, I love how he's talking about... Oh, the cult leaders? The cult leaders. Because yeah. the entire time, he never talked about God coming down and speaking to you. He talked about the prophets mm. telling you in to kill name. in the name of God. The yeah. prophet. I represent him. I, the representation is the one who's deceiving you to join these death cults and drink the Kool-Aid and unconsenting because they're unknowing yeah. and like that slow build up with the bassist and the guitar so and then the keyboard came in i'm like oh okay i take back what i said about the progressive i know i'm so <laughs> sorry i was only three minutes into the song i i'm so sorry do you love the keyboardist oh i love the jordan rudess is one of the best oh the my god ever. he's amazing yeah I'm love because the Atmosphere. thing that I've noticed about this band is they are all so calm. Yeah, yeah. The drummer is calm. The keyboardist is calm. The bassist They've is calm. Practice. But they are doing such amazing, like almost crazy things. But they're just, they're just so like. They're on Hall of Fame mode. Yeah. So they're just kind of like, well, it looks nuts for us, but they're like, yeah, but I needed it a bit harder, even still. It's like, yeah, this is my <laughs> Sunday play. Basically, <laughs> you can see the Ooh. enjoyment in the drummer, though. Yes, the like, drummer's he having, he's loving the it. I'm loving watching him sing along. Yeah, yeah. Because he's singing along with the singer. Yeah. Um, and the guitarist is like the backup vocals yeah. as well. That's and great, he's eh? phenomenal. John Petrucci, yeah. He's amazing. All right. I'm going to rewind it five seconds because I know please. there's a really big part coming. I can tell. It's building. I can tell that build up. <laughs> so, like, I did. I, uh, oh. <laughs> In the name of God. I love his mannerism. Oh! Oh, 
love this picture.
Damn. Wow. That's like... That was phenomenal. That guitarist makes me want to play guitar. He is That's like... That's why I'm a guitarist myself. Honey. He's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, it, there was a time when the keyboardist and the guitarist were doing their solo. Yeah. And they were both at that very high pitch level. And then you could see the keyboardist. What was his name again? Jordan. Jordan. In the background, he just had the biggest smile on his face. It was like euphoric. It was, yeah. You, it was euphoria. like he was in like like nirvana yeah like it was like he was experiencing heaven oh my god it's like cool oh, i this... got there too i haven't cried with that song ever oh wow honey. and like it's not like i was weeping or anything but the beauty of it was shining out yes. so much in this this was amazing something that i also loved is when he was singing about the cult leaders right after that first kind of breakdown Glad you brought he up. actually had the cult leaders and pictures of the cults and the people who died in the name of God, not even on a war basis, yeah. but the people who were tricked into it in the name of God by these false prophets who are like, oh, no, like, I've been here. Like, believe in me. Just drink the Kool-Aid. And um, 900 dead. On that, I'm really happy you brought it. So, like, the music itself, awesome. I've heard it myself. That solo at the end is extra. That's I don't know if it's improv or if they were meaning to make it more for like the show and all that, but like it mm. felt improv. It was almost like more crying out. It was that, that soul of Nirvana, as you're saying, when they're on stage and like just in it and it just, it suited so well. So why y'all, why you can see I'm a bit uh, flustered is those cult leaders, for instance, were addressed by Rick Ross. Um, Rick Ross is a cult leader um, that takes down those, things and he was mm -hmm. actually one of the ones directed the people that went in and ended up killing a lot of people with that thing i'm gonna leave the names and everything out of it but i got influenced by a leader and all that and was part of a group that had rick ross get hired to you know infiltrate them and all that so this song hits so differently Mm -hmm. when like i'm saying i had the full concept of thinking this is just like middle eastern warfare but then once they brought up the cult leaders and in the name of god of what they were doing and some of the things i was starting to do in the name of god and just um then seeing the connection of the actual cults they were showing on the screen which i never would have mm -hmm. saw without this live performance but then to connect it like i've been in a group where this guy who was you know that was a part of these things trying to take down these cult leaders i've been in part of that so it, this song hits so much deeper and then that mm -hmm. it's a much more personal it's a much experience. more personal experience especially with those solos now mm -hmm. from that internal battle that you have in the name of god so it was just crazy to think full circle where we're at now and now we're reacting to it and getting to ex have these amazing times with you while doing this mm -hmm. it's just it's phenomenal and everyone watching right so we love Dream Theater, and like you could say, what I like what you said is you want to become a guitarist, and that's what they did for me. Is Yeah, they definitely, there's something about this band that reaches into your soul, and every individual member makes you want to become a master of the instruments, because they just, they literally sing with the instruments themselves. Yeah. And so that embodiment is like, oh wow, like, just seeing the joy that the keyboard boardist had, Jordan had, when yeah. he was playing in that moment it's like <laughs> i want to experience that joy i want to share this with you mm -hmm. and um the guitarist the joy he's showing as he's going in he's got his one yeah. foot up on the speaker and he's just like ripping and yeah. it's like i want to experience that joy with you and like that is such an empowering thing especially for young people getting into music yeah where you have a lot of these top 40 songs mm -hmm. I, I can't even call them bands you have all these top 40 songs in north america yeah super that produced super produced on computers they yeah. aren't actually building that 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 joy that you experience when you're watching a band like this play live yes yes and um i just i feel like we need more dream theater for like the younger children who are coming and growing up because this is such an empowering song so much which, imagination it gives and there's you. so much imagination with it and yeah. it's really cool what they're saying is like they're basically what this song is saying is don't don't get involved um, don't be led astray yeah. by somebody who claims to be a prophet. Yeah. 
because that's what's happening is you're being led astray by individuals with their, their own ideologies, ideologies yeah. which have now led to the death of so many in the name of God. Yeah. Yeah. And that it's just so powerful. And then seeing like how much soul is put into it. There was a time where it felt very jazzy. There was a time so where much it jazz, was hey? very blues yep. based. Yep. Yep. Um, the, the, the um, the end, blues. Oh, what, what, uh, the bassist. Yeah. Yeah. When he was playing, uh, this is my bass. That is. <laughs> <laughs> this is my guitar. I play my guitar with my left hand and then I play my bass. <laughs> nice. Switch it up. That's, that's, if you see me do this. You slap with the one hand too. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but when the, the bassist came in, it was very like, um, it was very bluesy. It was very soulful. Yeah, yeah. And he just had that, you know, the dun, dun, like very uh, stoic, very static in his play, but yep. very, very powerful mm -hmm. and then it switched up into that jazz and then it came in with more progression and then the then the singer um forget his name again uh james james and he was just belting and yeah. you could feel the power begging. yeah like begging you like mm -hmm. listen don't be led astray mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. look at how many have died because of people pushing their ideologies in yep. the name of God, in the name of this thing that is greater. So this song was so powerful for me. Yeah, it's an extremely powerful experience mm -hmm. and I didn't expect it to hit me so deeply, which is why mm -hmm. it's amazing when you not just watch and listen, but you digest it completely mm -hmm. and see what it's saying. Cause like, like I said, having the context that I thought this was all wars from the past and then to bring that in so front and circle and like and, mm -hmm. and then i've been a part of some of these things like it just kind of really put into context that dream theater's talking about real stuff because they've been accused for having no soul because of how progressive they are and all that but it's like no they're talking they're about amazing soul. stuff yeah they are all, it's soul, all and soul. that's why they're so progressive it's yeah the, it is it's literally the reverse yeah. of what they're being accused of exactly but like in this album itself mm -hmm. they have a song called as i am which mm -hmm. is like a song for those people telling them like change it up and become more commercial as like no like this is what we are we push the limits this is train of thought if you're becoming right? more commercial then you have no soul yep so that's why we're going to see ya dream theater we're excited i hope you guys are excited to see that and i hope you guys had a good time with us let us know what other dream theater songs that you think thumbnail lady and i should react to i've heard them all but she has heard none other than this one now <laughs> so i hope you guys stick with us for the next one we are exiting the rabbit hole now folks thank you so much for being here with us peace and love god bless y'all take care and bye for now don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Special shout out to all of our patrons and YouTube members. We appreciate all of your support.